Now we're going to replace the plunger bolts and torque them down to 22 foot pounds and they will be torqued in sequence. Again, we use uh, the half inch socket, just kind of like a nut driver. Just kind of run them down until they're flush with the head. Once again, I'll get the torque wrench and readjust it to 22 foot pounds. To 22 foot pounds. Lock it down. Again, we're going to have to use the adapter. Of course, when you uh, when your fingers are greasy or sweaty, you may have to use a little help there to get it done. All right. We're going to do these in sequence. Sequence is we're going to tighten this one first, this one second, this one third, this one fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and last. I'm probably going to have to use the uh, extension to do this with because of the location of the pump. Again, you snug it. So you hear that click. You hear that click. Okay, heads reinstalled. We will now reinstall the valves and valve covers, inserting the valves into the O-rings. And reinstall the valve covers finger tight. Need to remember, if you were doing this with a used pump, not a new one like this is, you would also inspect those valve O-rings, and if it had anywhere on it at all, you'd replace it.
I recommend once a pump is run for any length of time at all, anytime you take your valves out, you replace the O-rings because they compress after a while. They lose their resiliency. Again, we're going to use a 30 millimeter socket pounds at 70. Lock it down. We'll go back and tighten all of them. Continue in this fashion until you have them all torqued down. Now it's completed. Now to complete this job, we reinstall the pressure line from the pump to the unloader. Before connecting any high pressure fitting, I recommend the use of Teflon tape or some type of thread sealant. I prefer Teflon tape. Just about three to four wraps. And you got enough on there. Place it in position. Get your thread started. Again, using an eight inch adjustable wrench, you tighten it, till you're finished. It's good and snug, don't overdo. If you don't get it tight enough when you first start up, it'll leak a little. All you have to do is just come back behind it and snug it a little bit more. We're finished.